What's going on my dudes, One Step here with a quick and easy tutorial teaching you how to combo in Mortal Kombat 1. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and jump into these combos. Real quick guys, go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use so that everybody who's watching knows what we're talking about. Also quick side note, the word cancel, you might hear that a lot during this tutorial. Uh, the word cancel, so if I say, oh, this stream cancels, that means just goes into, like this stream can go into this special move. But we in the fighting game community use the term cancel because you're essentially canceling that stream into something else. Might not make sense, but that's what it means. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and just pause your screen and go to move list and see your strings these are combo strings right here as you see for raiden we have one two three we have two four two we have two four two one you have these combo strings and a lot of the time believe it or not these combo strings can then cancel into specials so we have our special moves you know we have down forward one we got down back two. so you'll mess with your character strings and their specials but how do you combo how do you piece these together and where do you start i would start off with simple combo strings and just see what can cancel, like what can go into something else. So for an example, I know that Raiden has his forward two, two, four combo, okay? So what you might do is go, okay, I like this forward two, two, four. That's a low, and I think my opponent pops up a little bit. I wonder if I can do a special move after that. I can't do another string after that, surely, uh, but maybe I could do a special move. That, that's kind of the mindset you are gonna have to have, is you're gonna wanna question all of your strings, all your normals, your specials. So with that mindset, I'm gonna go, okay, I wonder if I can do my down back three after that and catch them before they fall and hit the ground from my forward two, two, four combo. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Four, two, two, four, down back three. Oh, it does. I catch them and pull them in before they fall. Okay, that right there is a combo. Now, the timing for new players might be a bit weird, especially for NRS games, and Mortal Kombat's no different. So, a lot of time you might think do four, two, two, four, wait, and then do down back three. As you see, it kind of comes out a bit later. The way you do your inputs matters, especially in these kind of games. And specifically for Mortal Kombat, what you're going to do is you're going to do your input all in a row. Like you're not going to pause and do four, two, two, four, wait a second, then do down back three. You're going to do it as if it was one entire string. Like as if you're dialing a phone, you know, beep, boop, boop, beep. You're doing four, two, two, four, down back three. I was done doing down back three before my combo string actually ended. The game recognized I did down back three and did it as soon as it could. That is the main source of comboing in Mortal Kombat. Is you're kind of hoping that it hits, you're doing the input in anticipation that my low move here is gonna hit and just doing the input of the special move that you wanna do. So now I'm gonna do, okay, so that can go into each other. I wonder if I can do forward two, two, four, and then my down forward two move here, my grab. Does that move connect, you know? Oh, it does. And I know after playing around with my special moves, I enhance my down forward two, and that's a pop-up. So I wonder if I do my forward two, two, four, the low kick into my enhanced grab, my down forward two, then they bounce. I can catch them with another something else, maybe, maybe a different string or another special move. You see where the combos start to form in your head. And this applies to all the characters in the game, you know, with their special moves. A lot of character special moves enhance allow for combo extension. So to showcase that forward two, two, four, enhanced down forward two, then maybe three that did hit so i wonder if i can do three and then just another grab let's try to do the all together now enhance the down forward two dash three down forward two okay that's a combo and that whole combo stemmed from me questioning could i do a special move after this four two two four and the answer was yes but again the input timing might be a bit weird for new players again you just got to do it in one simple one single sequence you ain't gonna pause you can do four two two four down forward two there you go now you notice that we dashed in that combo so yes there are some combos that might require you to dash and that can also be a bit hard to get used to if you see your opponent being popped up and you're kind of far away to really do anything chances are you'll probably have time to dash and then do the input dashing inside of combos can be a bit hard to get used to at first especially when you're doing combos that require you to dash twice like this combo here we got to dash forward hit him with three then do that again then i'll dash forward do it again so you see how we dash twice in a combo? That can also be hard to get used to at the beginning. So start simple. Start with a combo where you don't have to dash. Get that combo down. So that way when you run into combos where you might need to dash, you're okay with it. You'll try this process with some strings that characters have. Like for an example, Raiden's one, two, three string here. And you might question that, okay, well, does this one combo? I see they kind of went forward a little bit. Do I have time to do, you know, maybe a special move like my fly move? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. 
Uh, nope, nothing's going through. I wonder if this is really cancelable or not. I'm trying different timings. Ugh, nothing's going through. And that's okay. Sometimes strings are not cancelable. Sometimes strings are meant to be placed at the end of a combo rather than the middle or the beginning. And it's up to you to find out what strings of yours are going to be in that place. Are they going to be at the end, the beginning? You'll see a lot of characters have a string or a combo or a move that has a pop-up. So Raiden's 3-4 combo, that puffs my opponent pretty high. And Mortal Kombat is unique and they have air combos. So I know Raiden has 2-2-4 two, two, in the air. So I'm going to do that 3-4 combo jump 2-2-4. Two, two, Okay, that alone by itself is a combo, but I also saw my opponent bounced. Even from that extension, could I grab them with my maybe my down forward two? Let's try that. So three, four jump, two, two, four, then down forward two when I land. No, but I think I told I think I could hit. I think I could. It does grab. I just gotta be a bit quicker. So just because something doesn't land the very first time doesn't mean that it can never land. You gotta practice. Honestly, that's the beauty of fighting games. You're gonna practice and lab and practice and practice and practice and think something's gonna hit. It doesn't hit, but you're, you're like totally sure it could. Just keep trying it and chances are it'll probably hit. And then you're gonna think, okay, that does hit. I can actually enhance that and continue it from there. Oh my gosh. So then you will, right? You're gonna do three, four, jump, two, two, four, enhance your grab when you land. And then what, dash three, and then down back four, two again. Like you see how the combos are starting to form in your head once you get the specials enhancing down, once you get the dashing down. But again, you wanna start small, right? You wanna start simple. So the first things you might do is just three, four, jump, two, two, four. Once you land that, go from there. My rule of thumb is once you can land a combo three times in a row consecutively without messing up, that means you got it down. Personally, I will not finish, I will not stop doing a combo unless I've done it three times in a row without messing up. Another side note, you're gonna find that you're gonna be using some strings for your character's moveset a lot more than others because of their ability to combo into special moves and other stuff. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Even as a Raiden main, I don't use his uh, one, two, three combo that often. I'm using 2-4-2, two, two. I'm using 4-2-2-4 four, two, two, four a lot. I'm using my 3-4 and then my 4-3-4 quite a bit. You're gonna find that sometimes strings, even though they're, they might be a good combo ender, you probably are gonna be ending your combos with a special move or something like that. There are gonna be combos that just sit there and just gather dust. You're not gonna be using those strings as often as others, if ever, and that's okay. And just mess around, try to go different combo routes. So when I do my 4-3-4, four, four, that's a pop-up. Could I dash and do something else? Do I wanna do just a special move after that like my down back three like how can i continue these combos as much as possible and you're going to experiment a lot you're, you're going to practice a lot you're not going to be a pro in one single day and that's okay and sometimes you're going to find even even personally you're going to go okay i like this character's moveset but but after getting their combos down i'm just not vibing with this character i might want to try somebody else and that's totally okay too that's also the beauty is like for the fighting game you're going to find that you might click with this character and you never thought about playing that character but once you play around with some other characters you're going to go oh i actually really like Baraka. He's really cool. I like his moveset and I can do his combos pretty well. Like I want to play Rain really bad, but me and Rain in this game just don't click and that's okay. Now another side note about Mortal Kombat 1. Mortal Kombat 1 is kind of unique. Well, really unique because they have the cameo system and a lot of cameos you use are going to allow for even more combo extension. But I'll tell you right now, as a beginner, as a new player, maybe worry about cameos, sure, but don't make them your first initial thought. Like get used to comboing with your character alone before you really try to implement cameos. That's the best way that I found. If you try to put cameos in at the very beginning, it's gonna be very overwhelming. Once you master your character as a base character, then you can start to implement your cameos and go, oh, okay, I could do this combo, no problem. I wonder if I implement my cameo here, could I continue my combo after my cameo hits? Now, for an example, I like to use Jax in my combos for Raiden, because Jax will actually grab my opponent from the air, break their back and throw them off of him. And during that throw, Raiden can do other special moves. So like my down forward two, I'll call in Jax, he'll grab him. From there, I can do another special move. Like so, I'll call in Jax and then dig back forward three. You see how that kind of went together? Me, Jax grabbed him, then I flew and hit him. But you might not want to worry about that first thing. And then as you just get more and more, you'll start to string all of these things together just like this. There's a reason why my name is One Step, because I believe in taking it one step at a time, and that is my philosophy, especially for fighting games. You really do have to take it one step at a time, because if you try just full force running, you're gonna trip, it's not gonna feel good. You gotta go from the very beginning basics. Okay, four, two, two, four, down, four, three. That is a five hit combo, but it's still a combo. And that is the base foundation that you wanna build off of and just go from there. The timing can be a bit weird, just practice and get, you'll get used to it, I swear. The cameos can be hard to get used to, but 
but again, just practice and you'll get used to it. All of this requires practice. If you picked up the piano today, you would not be a pro piano player by next week. And that's okay. But if you play the piano almost every day for a long time, sure enough, soon enough, you're gonna be a really good piano player. You see what I'm saying? I hope this tutorial helped you start your combos in Mortal Kombat 1. If it did, make sure you subscribe here for more fighting game content and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know who your main is in Mortal Kombat down below. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, just take it one step at a time.